Yikes, man, this box has seen better days. Hey, what's up, everybody? Jake here, and welcome to the hobby. It's been two years since Celebrations was released. This was a super iconic set, quite possibly the most popular Pokemon card set during the peak of Pokemon hype. And today we are going to be revisiting this set and seeing if it's still worth cracking open or not. This is the Pokemon Celebrations Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Box. You can find these currently going on the secondary market for right around $100 retail. Inside of this container, you're going to find yourself 13 Celebrations, 4 card booster packs, as well as 6 additional Pokemon trading card booster packs, and a promo card, which is going to be the Greninja Star card. There's a bunch of other stuff inside, but the packs are what we are going to be really after. And was Celebrations a fun set? It was actually a fairly fun set. Now I'm going to tell you a dirty secret, and that is that I didn't really enjoy Celebrations all that much. And if I had said that two years ago, I probably would have been lynched on the street because everyone loved this set. Now, my biggest gripe with Celebrations is that it's a fairly small set. And I was really worried about that when this set was released because with a super small set, you get bored very, very quickly. Ooh, looks like some of the die fell out because you can see right there that three of the metallic dice probably fell somewhere else in here. Oh, there they are. They're right there. So yeah, in general, with a really small set, it can get quite boring. And I thought we were going to have another detective pikachu scenario where you get bored of the set really really quickly just because there's not a ton of cards inside and you're going to be opening up duplicates again and again now how did the pokemon company resolve that issue was that they added a bunch of other packs inside from different sets which i think is a great idea to really add some variety to this set now i will say that the packaging on this pokemon center exclusive etb is on point it looks really really good you get yourself a ton of these little celebrations booster packs as well as some really nice sleeves these sleeves are pretty solid i think these look really good actually it's they're some of the better ones that the pokemon company has released inside of their etb you get yourself the little greninja star promo card and a little code card there's also a deck box in here but that's going to be the main stuff let's get on to opening up some booster packs Let's start with Celebrations and see if we get something really good. There's tons of cool cards inside of Celebrations, and I still recommend it as a fun little side set that you can easily collect, especially if you're a brand new collector, since there's a ton of really cool cards inside, and you get to see where the Pokemon company has been with cards like this Garchomp Level X. I remember the days when these cards were going for extraordinary amounts of money. Can you guys remember those days when cards like the uh, Blast Toys from Celebrations was going for as much as $40 at release. And of course, now the Celebrations Blast Toys is currently going for right around $3 or $4. So it's a very affordable set to pick up. The most expensive card from this set is going to be the Charizard card, which is probably going to set you back around $80. But as far as a chase card from a set goes, I think $80 is actually pretty reasonable. You can actually complete Celebrations for under $200 right now if you are willing to be really patient and focus on getting some really good deals, it's a very affordable set to collect. Now, like I said, my biggest worry about this set was that on release, people were going to hate it because of how few cards are inside of it. You crack open 10, 20 Celebrations booster packs and you're gonna see duplicates again and again and again very quickly. Besides a couple of these uh, vintage cards that you get the reprints you're not really going to get much else but man these cards are super cool dark gyarados right there i love the designs on these cards and that's why celebrations was such a hit because you get some major fan favorite cards base set charizard base set venusaur birthday pikachu just a bunch of really fan favorite cards that people are still going to enjoy even if they are reprints but in general, this set is just okay. If you're looking to crack open celebrations right now, you're gonna have an okay time. The pack opening experience for this set is still pretty fun. If you're opening up 
you know, 10, 20 booster packs, you're gonna have a fun time. I'm already having fun. This is a fun pack opening experience. I would not crack a ton of these booster packs open because you're definitely gonna lose value. They're not that fun, right? I would probably rather open up a lot of other sets right now. Lost Origin, Crown Zenith. But if you have some Celebrations products at retail price and you can still find some of these products at retail, then I would say go ahead. Crack open a couple of these booster packs, especially if you're a new collector, because I think this set is actually still a lot of fun to crack open. It is a fun set. If you're looking to, you know, make some serious value, you're probably not going to get it. The most expensive card, like I said, is the Charizard, and it is a rare pull. It's extremely unlikely for us to get it, even from 50, 60, 70 booster packs. You're still probably not going to get yourself the uh, base set Charizard. And the next most expensive card is going to be the Umbreon Star card. And that card is currently going for right around $10. So there's not a ton of cards in here that are going to be super expensive. I beg to differ. I think there's one other one. I think there is a, a rare Mew. I think that card's pretty cool as well. But in general, like I said, these cards are so affordable. Like this Dawn fan right here. I think these are going for literal pennies literal pennies no one is currently collecting these cards they're okay the only people that are collecting these cards are the ones that want the uh, complete set and there aren't that many people collecting the complete set of celebrations there are some and there's a lot of completed sets of them out there in general people just want the big heavy hitters i think if you want something from this set i would collect probably the Blast Toys, the Venusaur, and the Charizard, and you can hang those up on display, and they're gonna look gorgeous! Check that out! Venusaur base set! Oh my goodness, these cards are amazing! This is why people like Celebrations. It is a lot of fun if you're cracking open 10, 20 booster packs. More than that, you're probably gonna start getting pretty bored because these cards are kind of rare. You're not gonna see a ton of them uh, inside of this set. They're kind of rare pulls. This card especially is really nice. The Venusaur is actually fully texturized. The whole entire card, completely texturized. So it's completely different from the base set one. Same artistic design, but it is a different card. You're gonna notice that it is a thicker card and it's not gonna have the exact same looking texture. Very different hollow pattern, very, very different. But that is a cool card. Yeah, I love the Venusaur. Same with the Blast Toys and the Charizard. Those are going to be some of the fun heavy hitters. I don't think I've ever pulled the Mew from this set. I know there is a secret rare Mew, but I don't think I've ever pulled it. That one's also a very challenging pull. So take it from someone like me who's opened up probably 200 booster packs of celebrations. There's plenty of cards from this set that I still have not ever pulled. And you're not going to have a Fan Ooh, the Shining Magic Carp. Wow, this is a really good box. I'm going to tell you right now, this is way above average. We are batting way above average right here. We've gotten five of the subset cards. Oh my goodness, that is so high. What a good celebrations box. This is so good. Wow, the Shining Magic Carp. That one's a tough pull as well. None of these cards are super expensive, but I'm having fun, man. Celebrations is really pulling through right now. I'm happy about that. I'm trying to, you know, be realistic to you about this set because I personally think if you're going to crack it open, you're not going to have that great of a time. It's going to be an okay time, but I beg to differ with these polls. They're fantastic for this specific Elite Trainer box. If you crack one of these bad boys open for $100, I'm going to tell you right now, your pulls are probably not going to be as good as mine. None of these cards, like I said, are super valuable, but extremely fun to pull. Extremely fun to pull. I'm actually kind of speechless. I think this is the best pull rates we've seen from... What is happening? Birthday Pikachu, too. Wow, 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 wow. What a gorgeous card. Wow, 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 wow. I am very impressed by this specific Elite Trainer box. Like I said... These pull rates are not indicative of how well you're going to do because one, two, three, four, five, six subset card. That's way above average. Way above average. If, if this was the Celebrations ETB I open at release, I would be mind blown. 
So two years after the release of Celebrations, I would say this set is still fun to crack open and it's still available. It hasn't gone that expensive. It's definitely gone a little bit more expensive, which is what you can expect from a set that's two years old, especially one as popular as this set. There's our third base set Pikachu, but yeah, really fun set. I'll be honest, if you are ever feeling nostalgic, you can crack open a couple booster packs of this and probably have a decent fun time. I would not crack a ton of booster packs open because you're at a certain point, you're just burning money, right? There's no really point. Uh, if you're brand new to the hobby and you want to crack open one of these ETBs, that's great. Go ahead. You're going to have a decent time. And if you want to complete the set, I would buy the singles. Inside of every single Celebrations products, you're going to get yourself booster packs from other sets to add some variety, which I think is really, really cool. They definitely need to do that for future sets, especially when they're releasing a fairly small set that can be a little bit boring. Most people aren't going to really enjoy cracking open the exact same tiny set again and again and again. So adding a couple of booster packs from other sets around the same era can be a lot of fun. Now, Celebrations came out right around the same time as Evolving Skies, I think. So most of these products do not contain packs from Evolving Skies or Fusion Strike. You may find a couple inside of different products, like I know the Celebrations Ultra Premium Collection. I think it has a couple of Evolving Skies booster pack, but you're gonna see some slightly older sets. We're talking about Vivid Voltage, um, Battle Styles, Chilling Rain, uh, even maybe something like Darkness Ablaze, which is going to be a little bit older. You're not going to get a ton of the really, truly the best set from Sword and Shield, which would probably be anything from Evolving Skies forward. Chilling Rain is probably going to be the best booster pack that you can get inside of most of these products. Chilling Rain is still a really fun set, and I know it's very, very popular. It's actually gone up a little bit in value. It's still being printed as of right now, just barely stopped being out of print since it's right at that two years mark. So if you're looking for some products and you still want to crack open Battle Styles and Chilling Rain, then these products can be a little bit more interesting. I actually really liked Vivid Voltage as well, but this set has actually not aged all that well. I know a lot of people really enjoy Vivid Voltage at the release of it because it has the amazing rare, it has the giant rainbow rare Pikachu, the Chonkachu or fat Pikachu that some people call it. I've never pulled that card, so I don't think I ever will. I don't have enough Vivid Voltage booster packs inside of my collection to probably ever pull that card, so that's just a card that I may be missing from my collection going into the future, unless I somehow magically uh, get to pull it inside. Ooh, the Celebi Amazing Rare. That's what I'm talking about. That's why people enjoy uh, Vivid Voltage. It's cards like these, really spectacular art, and this is a great card to add to your collection. I would be super happy to get a card like this. This was why Vivid Voltage was so popular at the time. Now, does the Amazing Rare have a strong future ahead of them. I actually think they do. They look really, really good, spectacular cards. The unfortunate thing about the Amazing Rare is that they are not all that rare. There's a ton of them out there, a ton of these little Amazing Rare cards. So it's actually really easy to pick them up. But if you want a complete set of them, they are very affordable. Some of the more expensive one is probably gonna be the Rayquaza Amazing Rare, and even then, not a very expensive card. I remember at release, the uh, Rayquaza one was going for upwards of $20 for a copy. We got ourselves the Blissey V Full Art. That's actually pretty cool. Love myself some Full Art card. Final booster pack, and then we will move on to final thoughts on celebrations. But I think at this point, you guys probably have a good understanding of this set. Uh, really good product. Honestly, I could not have asked for a better uh, celebrations opening, you know, it would be cool if we get the Charizard, but that's unlikely. I'm happy with the results from today's video. Just shows how interesting celebrations is to crack open, why people really enjoy it, even though it's only a four card booster packed tiny little set. It is incredibly fun to crack it open. 
Final thoughts on this set. If you have a ton of the singles, hold on to them long term, enjoy the set, but I don't think it's going to go up in value. There is just a ton of these cards out there. They're really gorgeous and really showcases how far the Pokemon company and Pokemon card collecting has gone. But the cards themselves are just fun display pieces and I'm really happy that this is probably going to be an affordable set for the next 20 years. I don't think these singles are really going to go up. There's just too many copies of them, but still a fun set to crack open and a fun product to hold on to long term. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.